How are you guys doing today? I got another video for you and I'm actually really excited about doing it. If you remember, way back last week, <clears throat> I did a video comparing this lens here to this kit lens 50 millimeter here. In that review, the kit lens had a slightly different focal length uh, in comparison to the 50 millimeter when they were both zoomed all the way in. I got some comments saying that the reason that there was a focal length difference was because this lens was a full frame lens. But that is not the case. Today we have got both the crop sensor and the full frame version of the 50 millimeter primes here to compare both of them on the A6500 body. We will be comparing actual focal length as well as image quality autofocus, different things like this across these two lenses so you guys know which one's the best for you to get for a crop sensor body. Also, the other day I uploaded a video comparing the Rokinon full frame 85mm prime to the 18-105 to f4g lens and somebody commented on that saying that because it was a full frame lens it had a focal length of 100 and almost 30 millimeters. so my 18-105 to wouldn't zoom in far enough to match the 85 millimeters, so my test was completely null and void. Let me explain to you why there's a fallacy in that. Okay, so basically the argument here is between two sensor types, and we're going to call our crop sensor one four spaces by six spaces. So these are your two sensor sizes. So let's say we had a tree that was four spaces tall and had a branch at the top that was two spaces, branch at the bottom that was two spaces. The difference between the two lenses, whether it's full frame or crop sensor, is the projection size that it shoots out the back of it. On a crop sensor lens, the projection is only gonna be big enough to cover the sensor. That's why if you have a crop sensor lens on a full frame body, you get vignetting, which manifests itself as black spaces in the corner. If you have got a full frame lens on a full frame body, you get the full projection size, which covers the entire circle. Now the difference is, is that when you take a picture of this tree here, you're going to get the entire tree you're going to get the entire tree in the image as well as extra space on either side. Now you've got the exact same focal length over here but just for a crop sensor camera. Well, that's bad. So our tree has got a branch, a branch, and then two more spaces down here. But our sensor is only four spaces by six spaces. So we're not gonna be able to get the whole tree in there. And that is your crop factor. The only thing that crops it, as far as the image goes, is the actual sensor size. The focal lengths are identical across all lenses. The only thing that changes is the projection size and the sensor size. You don't need as big of a projection for a smaller sensor, so you can use less glass, smaller lenses, lightweight everything. That's how you can get these uh, micro four thirds lenses that are just super tiny because you don't need nearly as much glass because you're only shooting to a sensor that's about this big now. And now his projection is even smaller. But a 50 millimeter would still give you a tree that's that big. You would just zoom in on it even further. Hopefully that makes sense. You can chew me out in the comments if you think I'm wrong. The reason that the image quality might change is because you've got a bigger piece of glass shooting out a bigger projection out the back. 
and if you crop in that that the resolution of that projection is finite so if you take a smaller section of it the quality is going to get worse just like a monitor or a sensor resolution the lens can only create a certain level of detail so if you start zooming in on that detail you get less and less of it if you shot a 24 megapixel lens on a 24 megapixel body you'd get 24 megapixels of detail out of it if you shot a 24 megapixel full frame lens on a crop sensor body you'd only get about 16 megapixels worth of detail out of it so that's kind of the difference there so now that we got all that theory out of the way let's actually shoot some pictures we're going to put the 50 millimeter full frame on as well as the 50 millimeter crop sensor on shoot across the way just like we've always been doing and we'll see how both the focal length changes if it does at all and we're also going to compare the image quality very closely okay here we have got the full frame lens on the a6500 as you can see the framing here we've got just barely to the lid of the trash can and uh, we got this branch going out almost the exact corner of the screen now we're going to take this off and put on, without moving anything, 50 millimeter crop sensor lens. And as you can see, we are just above the edge of the trash, or just below the edge of the trash can, and we've got a branch that's almost leaving the corner of the screen. Alright, on to the actual images, image tests. We're going to shoot with both lenses, with the same framing, at f1.8 f2.8, f5.6, and f8. We're going to compare them all together. I'm going to go ahead and shoot these images. You guys don't want to watch this, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. Alright, real quick, we've got a focus test set up here, or a touch to set the focus point, and then I'm going to push the shutter button down here. I'm just going to push and hold it to take a picture. Give you an idea of the focus speed from near minimum focus to right, same setup, same aperture. Touch here and is it just me or does this one seem snappier? Okay, here we have got minimum focus for the crop sensor lens, and here's our framing. So we're going to go ahead, see it is focused, we can actually hit the manual focus button and show you that, well, yeah that's pretty much it. Alright, now we're going to switch out to the full frame lens to see how see if it can focus at this distance or not all right we've got the full frame on uh, it's not taking it it looks like it should be able to do it though let's see no it cannot let's back this up just a little bit I think that looks pretty similar all right so there is a difference in the overall zoom you get. It's actually pretty significant. Hmm. Alright, let's take a quick look at these pictures here. <clears throat> As per usual fashion, uh, we've got red here is the full frame, green is the crop sensor, stars go from 1 to 4, going f1.8, 2.8, f5.6, and f8. So let's go ahead and compare these two. The red is the full frame, see the red right here, the green is the crop right there. You can see that there is a tiny, tiny focal difference. Uh, this one lands just below the top of the trash can here, whereas this one lands 
almost right at the top of the trash can. This branch up here. Yeah, you get a little extra focal length there as well, or a little less focal length there. That's interesting. Anyways, let's jump right into the middle tree here and see what our focus looks like. Ah, they're very similar. Let's go in a little further. Ooh, this is a close one. Let me check again. Both of these are F1.8. ISO 100, different lenses. All right, let's go check the corners. All right, we're up in the left-hand corner now, and we can see that the crop sensor has got a much sharper image, like significantly sharper. Let's see, it's a lot sharper, wow. All the way down the side here. It's just, it's the crop sensor the entire way. And down in the corner, well, I'd say this very bottom corner is a little fuzzier, but that doesn't excuse the other the rest of it. Now we're up here in the top corner. As far as sharpness goes, this is absolutely running away with it, which is interesting because most of the time you'll think, that okay, the, the full frame has got a bigger projection, so the corners that are typically the softest part of the image is going to be further away, but that's not the case here. Uh, it's looking pretty similar there. This is a lot sharper in here. That's very muddy looking. And we're down and at the very extreme corner the uh, the full frame seems to win here. Alright, let's jump down to f2.8. Alright, f2.8 on both sides and we're right here in the middle. The middle pretty much is a tie. I, I don't see any difference at all. If I had to pick, I would probably give it to the full frame lens. But it's very close. Very, very close. Alright, let's go check out these corners again. Look at that. It almost looks completely defocused. Or this one here is in, is very, very sharp. That's weird. I didn't expect that. All right, other corner. Again, a huge difference. Let's jump down to 5.6. Alright, F5.6, it looks like a dead tie. I can't even favor one side or the other because they're so close. Let's check out the corners. Ah, uh, the full frame is catching up, but it's still behind. This has got truer colors. This has got almost a greenish tint to it. Let's go up all the way up to 8, F8. F8 is absolutely tack sharp on both images. I might favor the crop sensor now. I think that the crop sensor lens has finally caught up in the center. Let's check out the corners. And I might say that the uh, I might say that the full frame lens has finally caught up in the corners. F8 is probably where they match up, but as far as overall sharpness goes, the full frame was way behind in the corners, so significantly so, whereas the crop sensor was just a little bit fuzzy, or not even fuzzy, it just wasn't as sharp in the center. Alright, let's check out the close focus as well as the background blur real quick. So we've got, these two are both taken at the same aperture with the same framing, 
two different lenses. Uh, the green is the crop sensor here, which let's see how this looks. Surely they must have a different focus point. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's not even close. That's not even kind of close. We could take the fit, the crop sensor in to two to one and it looks good. This one looks terrible. Oh, it's just terrible. That's amazing. That is amazing. Let's see. We also have some color fringing here. Oh, yeah, we got some color fringing over here as well. All right, now for close focus. So this is the close focus on the crop sensor. This is the close focus on the full frame. As you can see, the crop sensor has got a closer minimum focus to where the tree fills up the entire frame, whereas the full frame over here has got the same amount of tree or the same amount of the edge over here in the corner, but you can see off to this edge of the tree. Let's zoom in and see what kind of details we're getting. Well, despite the closer minimum focus, I think that, well, in the center, that's still, yeah, in the center, the full frame looks identical or a little bit better. But as soon as you get further away from the center, it just completely falls apart. That's up by the edge, the top edge. Oh, that's so bad. That's amazing. I wasn't expecting that big of a difference. Well, hopefully this sheds some light on the subject for you guys as far as what lenses you should use with what bodies. I know for a fact that I'm going to keep the crop sensor one here and I'm going to return the full frame just because the images were so much better, just so much better. On the on the crop sensor lens, um, some people tell you to buy full frame glass for crop sensor bodies for when you want to upgrade in the future, but it may not be worth it. You may uh, the longevity of your crop sensor body may be increased by buying the correct glass for it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.